What drove me to become a chef was just a raging passion since I was a little kid. I grew up and I just loved food so much. I'd only watch cooking shows, I'd only follow like Emeril Lagasse and when I was just a young, young, young kid. So just I would say overall just a big, 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 big passion. Do I think I could survive on $5.83 a day? At this current time in my life, or the way I've been raised, no. Uh, we've been raised to take taxis everywhere and pay for parking here and go for big fancy meals. You know, 583 can't even get you a pint on a patio in the summer. It's extremely important to have access to healthy, nutritious food. And if you're someone who's going to a food bank, or if you have food bank, typical pantry items, there's always healthy things that you can make. There's lots of fresh vegetables. You do have the brown rice, the whole, whole wheat pasta, especially more now than ever. I don't have like a fancy microplane or anything, but secret weapon, probably my palate, my flavoring. I've always been very strong in seasoning and making that jump from amazing food to incredible food. Like I'm not ever trying to make great food, I want to blow people away. So I don't want to take anything away from the other two chefs. They're very talented, I respect them a lot. Uh, I've done a lot of research on them, but I'm coming for them and they better watch out.